everybody, this is Troy Fullwood with Pinnacle Investments and The Thriving Investor. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and enjoying the video and the content that we're putting out for you folks. And we really, really appreciate all the amazing questions that you guys keep emailing us. And by the way, if you haven't had a chance to email us or leave a question in the comment box down below, shoot us an email with any kind of question to support at pinnacle-investments.com and we'll make sure that we make it part of our Q&A sessions. So that being said, this leads us to the next question of the day. Because um, I remember you saying that if you get a positive response um, of somebody that may have interest in selling their note through a through our through a VA, um, that they are to notify that seller that you'll be calling them shortly. My question is, how quickly should you call them back? Okay. Great question, great question. So if you have a virtual assistant or somebody on your team making phone calls for you and that person says, hey, I'll tell you what, this question is maybe um, outside of their league, maybe they don't understand the question, they are letting that person know that somebody else on the team is gonna call them back, that person might be you. Um, the question then is how quickly should I call them back? I would recommend as fast as humanly possible, okay? Definitely 24 hours or less, ideally in the same day, and ideally if you get this kind of a message from somebody on your team and it's in the morning, I would be calling them back in the morning. Or if you've got time right that moment, to pick up the phone and call that seller back uh, immediately. Now, why is that? Well, it's simple. The conversation is fresh on the mind of the seller, okay? meaning that if somebody on your team just hung up with that seller and that seller is interested in moving forward, maybe they've got a few questions, maybe that person is not able to answer those questions, um, maybe you're not immediately available to take those questions or take a transferred phone call, then I would be calling them back as soon as you find out. So. Somebody on your team says, hey, Troy, Mr. Smith is interested in talking with you about selling his note. He had a few questions. I didn't know how to answer them. I told him that you would be calling him back. Here's Mr. Smith's phone number. Here's a backup number. Um, these were a couple of questions that Mr. Smith had. I get that in the form of an email. I'm stopping what I'm doing. I'm, I'm grabbing my mortgage worksheet. I'm putting it in front of me, and I'm making the phone call. Real simple. Okay, real simple, because I want to catch Mr. Smith while this is fresh on Mr. Smith's mind. Now, the other thing about that is that when Mr. Smith has questions and you can't give him answers right away, automatically the clock starts running in his mind, okay? That happens for all of us, meaning let's say we call a pest control company to come out and do pest control on our house. And we call them, we leave a message, hey, this is Troy Fullwood. Love to see if you guys come out and do some pest control around my house. Please give me a call. And then they don't call. Or they don't call for a day or two days or three days. What conversation naturally happens in your mind or my mind? Are they interested in business? Are they even around to do business? Are these guys really professionals? Those are the types of conversations that start to brew in that person's mind, and that then becomes an experience for that person. Whether it's right or wrong is irrelevant, but that becomes an experience for that person. So you wanna make sure that when a, a lead comes in and a seller comes in uh, across your email or however you, how, whatever CRM system you're using, whatever kind of conversation you're having with them, however you're communicating internally, com communicating internally Make sure that you follow up, or if it's not your responsibility, somebody else on your team is following up ASAP, okay? ASAP, because that's a hot lead. That's a warm lead. That's a huge possibility. And don't let that slip away from you at any level. With that being said, this is Troy Fullwood with Pinnacle Investments, the thriving investor. Hey, give us a big thumbs up down below. Leave us some great comments. Appreciate all that. Um, if you got a question, throw it in down below, or you can shoot us an email at support at Pinnacle investments.com. We'll make sure that we put it part of this series, get your Q&A questions answered. And with that being said, have an amazing day. Have a great week. Thank you. Bye now.